Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neelam Ahuja, and you can also find me on Instagram at neelam.ahuja. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you had a good holiday, relaxing holiday. I want to start the new year off with a review on a pair of boots by a brand called Le Gris. They're a fairly new company. They are London based and the name, I believe it's an amalgamation of the initials of the designers, three of them, behind the label. They themselves are quite discreet. You're not going to find a lot about them. Even if you go to the website, you're not going to find a lot of information. And that leaves the focus really on their work. Their work is excellent. Excellent work. They are a minimalist brand. A lot of the designs they create are meant to be mainstays in your collection and your wardrobe. And I think that they will be. If you take a look at the line, you're going to see very classic clean lines like riding boots and western boots and combat boots. So this boot, the combat boot, in leather is round toe. It's made of napa leather. The leather is not too hard and not too soft, meaning it doesn't scratch very easily, which makes them very, very good and durable. But they're on the stiffer side when you first get them, so you have to work them in a little. I didn't have any blisters though, so that's a good sign. This uh, boot is laced in the front with a beautiful functional zip in the back. I cannot tell you how many times I have not purchased a pair of boots because they didn't have this at the back, but because they do have the laces, they're adjustable. So if your calf is a little wider, it will still accommodate it because you will just adjust the laces according to your own comfort. The other thing that I love about this pair of boots, what makes them really great, especially if you are like in a climate like mine where I'm in Canada and it snows, the tread on the bottom, it has grip. It actually is a really great tread. I put them out, um, took myself out on the ice, and it's just great. It's not going to break a wrist trying to break my fall. So this is good for, for that reason as well. And then um, it comes in a variety of colors. It came, I think it, they did definitely did the black and the brown. I believe they had a cream as well. They did it in the Napa leather and the suede. All their boots are have really neutral tones and so they're meant to work easily into your wardrobe sizing because they're not into mass production they work very closely with uh, traditional italian artisans they have only produced whole sizes in their range of sizing so if you are in between like me you're going to have to either opt up or down to the whole size nearest whole size and what i did at first because i wasn't really sure i'm traditionally a 36 and a half in most of my shoes and even in my boots. I ordered both of them. The seven was a little bit roomy, but again, my foot is slightly on the narrow side. So I opted for the six. Also, I don't tend to wear really thick socks and that means that I could get away with a six. If you can, get both to try them on. If you can't, I'd probably go down to the nearest whole size. I went down and I do think that most of the sites recommend going down. Pricing, they're around the thousand dollar mark, between 800 and a thousand. These are actually worth it full price because other than my row garden boots, these are my second most reached for item and pair of boots in my closet. And the reason being is they're just that easy to style. They go with absolutely everything that I own. They, they go with my, my jeans, my skirts. I would even think that if you were into tulle skirts, you could put these with them and it would look great. I would even wear them with dress pants if I just wanted, you know, the front of the toe peeking out. I think they're a boot that really does stand the test of time. It's going to weather the storm of all trends. And at that sort of middle price range between if you could get them at the 800 and, or even on sale, and if you, you find that your size is available, I would absolutely recommend buying them. They're, they're one of those boots that you know, I, I do feature a lot of items by the row, but I get more questions on these than any other boots that I have. And I think it partly has to do with the shine of the leather as well. There's a, a little bit of a sheen to it. So they, they're classy, but they're edgy, but they're not so edgy that they become, you know, trendy. They're at that kind of in the middle, perfect boot. And that is your Le Gris Combat Boot Review.